So first off, I would just like you to know that we don't need this part anymore for the rest of this tutorial. Um, so we can just hide it. Okay, so um, we're going to create a similar solid body as what we created here, um, but for the fluid this time. And uh, we're actually going to dry it out. So we'll start off by clicking on the XY plane. And then we'll click the button called New Plane. Under the Details, we're going to choose to have a transform of an offset Z. And for the value here, we'll input 90 meters. And click Generate. So we now have a plane that is 90 meters in front of our blade and our plane is located right here so with this plane selected um, click the new sketch button and then go into sketching under constraint let's go and find the auto constraint and then select cursor now in the draw menu We'll select the Arc by Center Drawing Tool. And then we'll click on the Origin. Um, but before that, we'll change the view here. OK, so we'll click on the Origin. And we need to make sure that the letter P appears. Um, so this is the cursor constraint that we just enabled. And it lets you choose precise features. And here, P stands for point. Now click anywhere up here and anywhere down here just so you know ANSYS actually tells you how to use these features um, right here okay now select the line tool and connect the origin to the ends of the arc again make sure that P shows up before you click Now let's give this sector proper dimensions. Under dimensions, we'll pick angle. And then we'll click on these two lines. And uh, we want the acute angle between these two lines. And this is clearly not what we're seeing. So one trick is that you can right click and select alternate angle. Okay, and now this is the angle we want, so we can just uh, left click. And we'll do the same thing at the bottom here. So we'll select these two lines. Okay. And now we will specify these angles to be 60 degrees. Finally, we'll define the radius of the arc. So we'll go here, select radius, and then click on the arc. Click again. And this arc will be 120 meters. And this is about three times the blade radius. We will now create another sector located 180 meters behind the XY plane with a radius of 240 meters. Since the process is identical to what we just did, please give it a try yourself.